the hell? Oh man. Oh man, that was such a weird dream. Oh man. Oh, it's like it's like I was having a dream about my girlfriend. Well, she's not my girlfriend yet. It's just I don't know why the frick I'm talking to myself. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, it almost feels like I have a freaking headache right now. Oh, gosh, what a terrible but a freaking disgusting, disturbing dream. It's like she kissed me in the freaking lips, and then I saw Granny and Grandpa kissed, and then I freaking saw Webby and Crowley's kissed, and I was like, Ugh, I was gonna puke and vomit again. Ugh, that's why I know it was actually a freaking dream. Ugh, how freaking disgusting. <sighs> it's like, why did I ever had a dream about that, you know? It's like, why the frick I was thinking about a, a, a you know, a freaking kiss love dream. <sighs> oh, I gotta really wake up here. <sighs> well... I might just go downstairs and just say if it's still November because, well, you know, I never really came back on the series for a while, you know. <sighs> oh, man. Anyways, guys. So, yeah. Hi, guys. It's me, Damn It, from Granny Crazy Funny Friends. And well, it's been for a while to come back on the series, because you know, it's been a busy freaking weekend for me, but uh, yeah, I might just, uh, you know, like I said, I might just go downstairs and see what uh, Granny's up to today, you know, because it's been for a while to see her, and well, I'm just kind of curious if it's still frickin' November, because I can't tell if it is. Maybe we pretty much passed Thanksgiving. <sighs> Maybe I have to look at the calendar. Well, anyways, guys. So I hope you guys had ever saw my other video. I want you guys to please smash a like and please subscribe to us. And all that fun stuff, so... Yeah, anyways, so let's get started on this freaking episode. <sighs> Hi, Granny. Oh, well, uh, good morning, damage. Gosh, freaking sleepyhead. You almost slept your whole freaking day away, okay? <sighs> Damn it, you really need to be on frickin' on schedule, okay? Cause, you know, you're always not coming back on the series because maybe you just hate winter. Are you, like, so oppressed about frickin' winter cause it's frickin' December already? Huh? What? What he said? It's frickin' December? Are you frickin' serious? Uh, yeah, damn it. What do you frickin' expect it? It really is frickin' December, and it's almost frickin' Christmas. Ah, <sighs> you know, that's pretty much the next frickin' holiday. And, well, like I said, you passed frickin' breakfast, so it's pretty much afternoon. But it's gonna be starting to get dark again, so, yeah, like I said, you're a frickin' sleepyhead. But, uh, anyways, I don't know what you want to do today, because, I mean, I'm kind of really freaking bored as hell, like all of us, because, you know, it's really freaking depressing. Like my husband, Grandpa, because he's always the laziest one, and I just like to call him a lazy bonehead. Um, uh, okay, but, uh... I don't even know, it's just, uh, I'm really sorry how I almost, kind of almost freaking slept my whole day away, but you know, I had a terrible dream nightmare last night, 
and I can't even I can't even ascribe to it. It was so freaking disgusting. And it's kind of hard to say was it like another episode? Cuz I did said something like it's been for a while to be on the series and all. But I don't know, maybe I'm just freaking daydreaming. Cuz I don't really don't take my damn night pills. And who freaking knows cuz like how we began on the series, Granny, it's like we left your freaking house, and I told you how many times if we're gonna go back to your house so I can get all my stuff. Because I have new outfit clothes, and I... Well... I hate repeating this, but you have to understand, I was wearing this gray shirt and this black pants for like... How many months right now on the freaking series, and it's just disgusting how I can't bathe my freaking self. You know how disgusting I am? And I, I, it's like, I don't know why the frick I'm repeating this so much. But still, it's like I need a new design of clothes. You know, it's almost, it's almost how I need to have kind of a new update. Like a game a little bit. Like Dennis, the freaking developer of the games. And who knows, maybe he freaking made a new game. We kind of need to really see it though. Because it might be on the App Store. Um, okay. Well, uh, yeah, well, anyways, damn it. I I'm kind of sorry, but we can't really go back to my house because who knows? You know, maybe there's probably snow outside. And who knows if the frickin' traffic is so bad on the damn snowy, icy roads. Because, you know, it's frickin' December. And pretty soon we're going to have some bad thunderstorms, bad trees hitting our frickin' house. Because it's like a giant blizzard hitting in the frickin' woods. Because we live in the frickin' wor wo woods. Gosh, I can't talk today. Anyways, I might be frickin' drunk. Because yesterday I was drinking some, uh, some beer, you know? I was having a good party with my love, my love, baby, grandpa, and we was just making out, kissing, how we always does, how we did when we first met, because it's been for a while to see my husband, and well, I miss him so damn much, he makes my heart beat like I want to be fluttering with flowers in my stomach. And well, with butterflies in my stomach like frickin' Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Um, okay, Granny, you're really frickin' disgusting. Well, I was kind of thinking, if we can not always be bored in this house, how about we just try to talk about our stories? Because I like to do a story video today. Just because I want this episode to be kind of more fun not boring because I do understand we might have a lot of storms in this house and well I don't know I know you're kind of freaking tired too how we just can't always speak and talk today but still I'm just saying could this just be a fun episode so how about we just don't be bored in this house how about we invite everybody in the living room and we can talk about our stories so yeah, let's just talk about our stories, okay? Um, okay. Well, I better get my husband in here. And also my pet, Crawlies. And, you know, Slenderman. Syringa, or whatever her frickin' name is. Um, are you okay, Granny? You mean Syringa? <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of confused of her name, too. Slenderman and Sir... Sir bleh, who cares? I'm just gonna shut up. Anyways, who freaking cares? How about we just invite everybody, okay? I'm not gonna just say their names. We only know what their names are anyways, okay? It's our friends. And pretty much it's all our friends. Because, you know, it's called Granny Crazy Funny Friends. Because we're crazy and we're funny. And we're frickin' friends. So who cares? I'm not gonna just repeat it. I'm just gonna shut up. So yeah, anyways, follow me. Let's just go in the living room and let's talk about our stories. Um, okay. 
<sighs> okay, we're in the living room. Um, okay, uh, what is Grandpa doing on the couch? Well, if you see, damn it, he's watching his favorite show. It's a kind of like a funny show, but it's also really, really crazy. You might uh, have a lot of hiccups if you laugh too much. Or if you try to just basically pee your frickin' pants. Because I think it's frickin' hilarious. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby, you gotta come in here, babe. This is a freaking awesome show. I'm, al I'm almost gonna freaking pee my pants. I probably have to run up to the freaking bathroom and, you know, squirt out my urine because I'm ready to pee my pants. Um, okay, babe, but can you just, uh, turn off the TV, please? Because, damn it, and I want us to be in the living room right now and not be bored. He wants us to have a fun story. So I'm just suspecting this might be just a story video. Right, damn it? Yeah, it is. And I'm not gonna just talk about, like, my nightmares or my dreams. But I don't even know if I just want to talk about my story because it's really, really sad. And well, like all those other old episodes, I was like begging for you, Granny, to do your story. Because your story is kind of sad too, you know? Yes, I know. But anyways, let's just get this frickin' started. Um, okay. Well, it is getting started. Oh, I love this part. This part is so funny! Ah, my frickin' husband, Grandpa, is not listening to me. He's always into this frickin' funny show. He's so hooked, it's like stuck in his head. Um, yeah, Granny, I can actually see that. He's really into it. <sighs> yeah, he is. Ah. Grandpa! Uh, oh, why would you freaking hit me, babe? Because you're not freaking listening, okay? Can you shut up and turn off the damn TV? Okay, okay. It's off now, gosh. <sighs> Anyways, so why do you hit me? And I, I couldn't hear you guys because I was really into my funny show. So, what do you guys said? Oh my gosh. Okay, look. Me and Dammit said, if we're always bored in this house, we cannot try to be bored. So he wants us to have a fun, sad story. So all of us is going to be invited in the living room. And not really like, you know, upstairs, how we all of, how we had our Thanksgiving, how we was all invited with our Thanksgiving turkey party. Yeah, and? And, I want us to be invited again, so shut the frick up, you lazy bones. <sighs> this is just a story, and I want us to all understand how sad our true stories are. So we gotta wait for our other friends, because our other friends have to be here to be invited. Okay? Oh, <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, we might just have to wait with our friends. So guys, please be patient, because I hate yelling sometimes. Because I just don't want to. Because it kind of gives me a freaking headache. Like, I don't have enough sleep. Like, every time I sleep at afternoon. Well, not really afternoon. Because I don't sleep my whole day away. I kind of may, maybe kind of sleep. You know. Like, at a.m. Or even when it's probably past midnight. But yeah, who cares. So let's just wait freaking patiently. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man, Crawlies, that is so funny. Yeah, I know, I got some really funny frickin' jokes, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I love your jokes.
Well, 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 it's uh, Webby and Crawley's. Crawley's Webby, get over here. We're in the living room. <laughs> huh? Um, Granny? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, Crawley's, are you freaking stupid in the head? <sighs> I said come in here in the living room. We're just sitting here because damn it doesn't want us to be bored. And we want us to have a, uh, a chat story of all of our stories. So I want this to be really, really sad and really, really, uh, I don't know, maybe fun. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, so why you guys are all over the living room? Yeah. Because Dammit doesn't want to be bored and he wants us all to be invited. Like how he was in our Thanksgiving turkey special party when we had it before, but it's December and you know Christmas is on its way and we gotta do something really special. Because, uh, damn it, as the first main character on the series, he's just gonna make us something really happy this year. So he won't be bored. Um, uh, okay. So, um, <clears throat> so what is about the story? Like, is it like talking about our sad stories or our true stories or like our childhood? Well, yes, it's it's probably going to talk about our childhood, but we're just going to take by turn by turn after we talk about all, the, all of our stories, okay? Um, uh, okay. <sighs> okay, is that, is that ever, is, is this is it, is that going to be everybody, damn it, or no? Well, uh, I don't know, but... Maybe Crawley's and Webby can be okay here, because, uh, how about we just let our other friends mind their own business, like, uh, Slenderman, Slenderina, and Golan and Blackie the Crow, because they might be just doing their own stuff, so let's just not bug them, okay? Let's just mind their own businesses, as we're doing, like, our business, too, so yeah. Um, okay, so I guess it's just us. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so who wants to go first to their, uh, sad story? Um, me, me. I want to be first. I want my story now. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, Crawley, so I guess you're first. Okay, how about we listen about your story, okay? So let's get ready to listen to Crawley's story. Uh, okay. Let's get ready to listen to Crawley's the Spider's story now. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to listen to his story. And I, I, I mean, I don't even, even, I don't even really don't know about Crawley's the Spider's story. So yeah, let's listen. Yeah, let's listen. Yeah, Crawlies, let's listen about your story. Um, okay. So, here goes my story, okay? So you guys better get ready to listen. Okay, here it goes. So, I really don't remember anything from my childhood, but... Basically, what happened was I had a I had a family. I had my mom and my dad. They was my parents. We was these kind of weird, identified looking spider creatures. For me, my parents and I did not look like we was tarantulas. We kind of looked like. Like, I don't know, mutant spiders or something. And, well, it's kind of sad. 
because I really don't know what happened to my parents. They always told me I can be brave because for me, for me I thought I was going to be safe because of my nest. My mom and my dad took me to the nest in safety because my parents got killed by somebody. Maybe a human or maybe just a creature. It seems like my parents didn't have enough strength to fight back and show how they're strong in their powers and nature of instincts. And I always thought how brave I will be. I was really scared. I was crying because of my parents was screaming for help. They died so quickly. It seems like I got knocked out as I was having some weird damage and flashbacks in my brain. Like I couldn't see anything because my eyes was shield shut. And well, it almost felt like I was dreaming, but I wasn't. So I always kind of realized how I was, noticed how I was so sad because my parents had died. But after that, they was gone forever. And I did not saw my parents ever again. It's really sad. And I had to run away to go somewhere else for safety. And well, I always realized how cute I was because of my eyes was so big and adorable. But even my eyes was kind of big, I was kind of frightening and scared. Because I was kind of nervous just to run away. And well, I went in the woods and I found this weird looking abandoned house. I had it uh, used my all I had it used all my strength and my and my strongest to bust my way through to a large hole. It seems like I was climbing in the attic and then I went more higher up in the attic and then well I found like a safe home for me. And then I found like a plate and there was like meat, like food meat. And I ate it and I was really, really starving. And then somebody came upstairs and somebody scared me and frightened me. Oh my gosh, Crawlies, that is so sad. And what happened if somebody frightened you or scared you? Well, damn it, you will only take your guess if you only know who it is. So, well, this is me as a kid, as my flashbacks. So this is what I actually looked like. So yeah, this was me as a kid. I looked really normal because if you notice, this is kind of like my first update in the Granny Horror game of how it got released in 2017. And I, well, you know, I looked really, really different in the past. I looked really, really absolutely adorable and really, really cute, even when I was a kid here. For me, it seems like I looked like a fluff ball, like a cotton ball with cotton candy and fuzz, because I looked so fuzzy and soft and really, really cute and cuddly. But anyways, so I gotta continue my story. So to be continued, so anyways. So I was frightening and scared, so I turn around like this. <laughs> I was like making some weird noises because I couldn't speak. I was little, so I didn't really notice anything around my environment because I just found this weird abandoned house and I didn't notice anything but just always with that weirdest fear in my eyes it seems like 
this seems like like it's kind of weird in my dream because it's kind of hard to explain it it just seems like it's like the same person or somebody had killed my parents and well who freaking knows if my parents are dead it's just it's it's really hard to understand and it's really hard to explain it so like how I turned around because I was frightening and scared because well you know this old woman came upstairs and saw me and you guys have to guess who it was so do you guys know who it is um I think I know I think it's granny yep damn it you're absolutely right it was granny this is how she first met me and this is how all of my stories even from the past because my parents died so anyways let me continue um okay anyways sorry okay you can continue crawlies Meh, okay so anyways i was just kind of standing there just really really scared and frightening for me i kind of looked at her like a threat because i was like poofing up like a cat and i was trying to maybe hiss at her but i couldn't hiss because i was so afraid and really nervous <laughs> um are you okay little spider you're so adorable are you a baby Aww. What happened? Oh, you're all alone. So anyways, I was just... I was trying to be nice because I didn't really want to have been threatened by her. But she was kind of nice to me. She kind of showed nice respect. And well, I showed respect to her back. I noticed she wasn't a mean person. It seems like Granny likes to have pets. It seems like she was an animal lover. After she kind of got more closer to me, she used her hand and touched my head. She really liked how my back felt. It was so fluffy, fuzzy, and poofy. She really thought I looked like... Well, let's just say I almost looked like a toy doll, like a teddy bear, because I was like covered with poof and fuzz. But she understand I did not look like a bear. She thought I was kind of a weird looking, identified creature. Because if I was actually a creature, I will never be like a villain if I was like a humanized human. You know, like a human person spider, but I wasn't. Just because I'm still spider, it's not like I don't seem like I am human just because I actually talk like a human. I'm still a spider, so, you know, I'm not humanized. So, yeah, it was kind of nice how she trusted me. And, well, she noticed how she raised me even when I was a baby even as I was a child. Aw, you're so cute and fuzzy. Aww. Don't worry. I will keep care for you. I will always protect you because you're my pet. Oh, <coughs> you're so cute. Don't worry. I won't I won't never anything happen to you. I promise. So, it kind of warmed my heart because <sighs> Granny was so, she was so nice to me. I never thought how much I loved her and well, I still love her, even how I did in the past in 2017. I was so cool then in the past and how my childhood had began. I just wish I went backwards over time. It brings me a lot of my heart and my memories 
because I will never be so far gone from it. Basically, I didn't have a name it then because I didn't have a name. So she was thinking if I had it a if I had it a, a spider name, then I will definitely have a spider name. So just because she adopted me, well, she did. So she basically said this. So, uh, so do you want a name, little spider? Because I gotta say, I never really had a pet spider before. And, well, I just gotta say, you're my pet and you're adopted. Aww, you're happy now? Aww, so you really like how I finally adopted you? Aww, well, I'm really glad how you love me, because I love you too. And, well, I got a special cool name for you. Yeah, and I'm gonna call you... Hmm, okay, there is a lot of spider names. So how about I call you... Hmm... Ooh, I got a good one. How about I call you Crawlies? Because you crawl, and well, you're a spider because you got legs and you can crawl around. So yeah, your name is Crawlies. Do you like that name? Meow, meow. Aw, you do? Aw, I'm glad you like it. So yeah, it was so nice how Granny told me I had a name. So she called me Crawlies. And she raised me a long time how she fed me food. She had it and made me groan so I can be really strong and healthy and all of that fun stuff. And well, she taught me a lot of cool stuff to have my spider behaviors. And I was so clever and so smart. I will never ever leave her. Because I noticed how I did show her respect. I noticed I will never hurt a person. Because I'm not a villain. I'm not a really evil spider. Just because if I do look like I was evil. Just because by looking at my eyes. I mean again my eyes look really red and terrifying. But still, I'm still adorable. I'm still cute. It doesn't matter if I'm just a terrifying spider or if I'm not always terrifying, I can be cute. <sighs> and yeah, that's my story. The end. <sighs> oh my gosh, Crawlings. That was so sad, but...